I want to know what is your idea of manhood? What's your idea of manhood? What does it look like to you? What does it mean to you? What define it? I don't want to hear nothing about what they told you, what you read. I want to know in your heart what it means to you. What, what does a man look like? What does he walk like? What does he talk like? Does the ground shake when he move? What in your mind is the idea of manhood? You 18, you 19, you 20, you 21, and you got this view of life right now in your head, and you can see it, but it ain't clear. It's, it's not clear, but what do you want for and from your life? Don't, do not tell me you want a new car. Don't tell me you want a $50 million a year job. I want to, not, anybody can get things. Anybody can buy a house. Anybody can buy a car. Anybody can get things. I want to know what do you want for your life and from your life? What do you look like in the next five years? Who's stretching you? You wrote down that you said you wanted something for your life. But most people want what it looks like. I want what it feels like. All right, who remembers high school, your senior year? Almost the best year of your life, almost. Because you've been to college. Almost the best year of your life, right? I promise you, my senior year of high school, like, I didn't do no work. But I don't think I did work in first grade. I tricked off from first to 12. I'm not even playing. Like, I wasn't stupid, but I was lazy. If everything was easy. I played ball. I, I know I was taller back then. I played ball. <laughs> I'm saying, what you laughing at? You know, people shrink when they get older. I, I'm going to be 50 in a month or two. They shrink when they get older. I was taller, right? But I played ball all the way up until my senior year of high school. I didn't have to do homework. Nobody pushed me. Everything came easy. You know, it's a, we're in here. Just raise your hand. Just think about it. Stuff just comes easy for you. I wasn't averaging 20 or 30 points a game, but I was a floor general. I was always a boss on the inside. But you never could see the real leader in me come out because nobody was stretching me. I was just doing what was natural. Most of y'all in here just doing what come easy to you. And it comes so easy to you and you look so sweet when you're doing it, but when life get on your back and start testing you, you got a problem. You ain't got the, mm, the testicular fortitude to stand in and fight because you ain't been being pushed. And what you wrote in your phone, that thing that you said you want for your life, that thing that you said you want to be, you want to do, and there's some things that you want to have, you'll never get it being average. Anybody can buy a car. That's why I told you I don't want to see about no car. Anybody can get a house. I get a house, get a car, whatever you want. If you can work, you can get it. But there's something that you can't get from walking with average people. That's your manhood. You don't want to be no average man. You got to walk away from that. And when you make a decision to walk away from that, you walk the ground shape.